Greetings everybody and welcome to Proposition 46. So what this proposition says is that if we are given a line segment AB, then it's going to be possible to construct a square in which one side of the square is the given line segment. Let's see how we might go about this. We know that by Proposition 11 that we're able to construct a line which is perpendicular to our line segment AB, which also happens to pass through our point A. Now, by our postulate number three, we are able to draw a circle centered at A and passing through B. Now, what this will do is to give us an intersection point with our first line that was perpendicular to line segment AB, and that point of intersection will be here at point C. Now because B and C are on the same circle centered at A, we know that our line segment AB is going to be congruent to our line segment AC. Now by proposition 31, we know that we are able to construct a line which is parallel to AB, which passes through our point C. Also by Proposition 31, we know that we are able to construct a line which is parallel to AC, which passes through our point B. Now our line passing through, that was parallel to AB passing through C, is going to intersect our line which is parallel to AC and passes through B. That intersection point is going to be here at our point D. Now by construction, we knew that our angle BAC was going to be equal to a right angle. Now because our line AB is parallel to our line CD, we know that for the transversal AC passing through, that our angles on the same side of the transversal, our interior angles on the same side of the transversal, will add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, because our angle BAC was 90 degrees, our angle ACD must also equal 90 degrees. Now because ABDC is going to be a <coughs> parallelogram, we know that the opposite sides are going to be congruent. And so that tells us that side AB is going to be congruent to side CD, and side AC is going to be congruent to side BD. And that is our proposition number 34. And also by proposition number 34, we know that the opposite angles are also going to be congruent. And so that tells us that our angle ABD is going to be congruent to our angle ACD, which is 90 degrees. And our angle CAB is going to be congruent to our angle CDB, which is also 90 degrees. And so therefore, because our sides are going to be equilateral, they're all the same length, and our interior angles are all right angles, by definition 22, we do have a square for our quadrilateral A, B, C, D, as was to be demonstrated. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this one, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.